Uh, IGN apparently played Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, and they did not like it. Oh, wow. Okay. No. Hardly no. No. Worth it. The best part of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League after playing it for a few hours is the story. And yes, it certainly seems like you will be killing characters the story is good. in love. Hey, your face always looks so... what? Lots of death happening here. That's also a big part of the problem I have with the entire premise. I can't help but shake that there's no way Rocksteady is going to let any of this stick. Our heroes have done terrible things. There will be a time reversal mechanic or some alternate Earth timeline that comes along and washes away all of the terrible awfulness that happens during the story. From enslaving a child form of poison ivy to straight up watching your heroes murder people, there's a lot here to make you feel a bit uncomfortable about the journey you're being taken on. Child version of poison oh, ivy? Hey! What? I put the bloody bomb in the head ages ago! What? what? And when yeah, that's tomorrow. With Game or, I'm sorry, that's yesterday. Destiny, Anthem, or Marvel's Avengers, I'm left worried about the final product coming together in a way that works. The fun just wasn't there for me, at least not yet. Let me explain. They have like an active reload the story system. Has its fun moments, yes, and the team banter, at least during the cutscenes, is when Kill the Justice League is at its best. Awesome. Aw, he's so sweet. <laughs> he's not gonna make it. The cutscenes have clearly been given a lot of love. Meanwhile, the character models look great, the voice acting is on point, and there are a lot of moments where I genuinely laugh thinking this could be enough to carry me through the messy and tired open world missions. While they could reverse time okay. and fix the morality issues at play, chances are that will be difficult given the planned expansions, story additions, and gear chases oh, wow. later in the form of free updates. That means they have free updates like coming though, that's good. That transpire, and if the name sticks, stuck with a dead Justice League. At one point, the team puts a bomb in the head of Poison Ivy, who just happens to be a child. But hey, they punch Boomerang for putting a bomb in her head. So let's move on from that whole enslaving a child thing. I get it's Poison Ivy and this is kind of Waller's thing, but I'm using it to illustrate a point. All of these things in one package feels like an odd mix. Rocksteady had a winning formula with the Batman games and is trying to write a completely new book. But so far, Lightning is not. Yeah, but that's not shorts pizza. Like I watched Rocksteady shorts is not what I have separately. On my list this year. The team is single-handedly responsible for making some of the best combat I have <laughs> ever experienced. The Predator it doesn't look bad. In the Arkham series also allowed you to tackle them with stealth or brute force, adding further flavor and variety to Bruce Wayne's vigilantism. To this day, in fact, you can find ridiculous takedown montages on YouTube and TikTok for Batman Arkham Knight. Right. Unfortunately for Suicide Squad, once the fun story bits end, you're left with a much less inspired People have combat. to stop comparing <laughs> all the with superhero games that to Batman. Grinding through traditional Batman like will be the the best superhero and turn it in there are game that they that they made the powerful feeling of takedowns deal with it does seem to be some depth to the build variety but this reminds me of uh gotham knight which i've been playing through which quickly and i actually like it that's just my UX design. Sometimes it's to the point that you'll get two to three lines of dialogue overlapping. I mean, that's kind of bad. Waiting for your crew at a checkpoint. And when the combat does start, it has its fun moments. Ninja Toido. It has weird What's issues, going on? Long animations to regen your shield, or you'll get knocked out of an animation for unclear reasons. I thought it was just me, but it also happens in this provided footage straight from WB. Well, we have this provided boss. You clearly got shocked. What are you talking about? I just want to mention that I found this fight incredibly annoying. There's no indication of where the Flash is most times, and he's the Scarlet Speedster, so he's just constantly zipping around the map. That didn't make the fight hard, it just made it frustrating. You get a handful of shots on him before he teleports to the next location, so you're just trying to chase him down or catch him standing in one spot long enough to get hits in before he does it all again. That's how a normal fight goes, bro. There was a bit of a he's down, get a moment, but unfortunately, it seems like that trope wasn't used here. 
Now, okay, WB that's a bad also reason. sent over some footage of an experienced shark player wrecking shop. So I'll include some footage of their gameplay in this video preview to show what it looks like when someone has played for hundreds of hours versus a couple of hours at a. Ninja preview. wants this game to be good so bad. No, what I'm saying is like they compared Gotham Knights to the Batman, right? To the Batman franchise. You can't do that, right? Because clearly it's not, and we understand. Or I understand, at least. You're not going to have the same miracle more than once, right? And this is reminding me a lot of Gotham world, Knights. However, missions tend to favor many of the tired and true types, which makes them feel a bit like uninspired filler. Like, stop me if you've heard this one before, you defend a point from waves of enemies that spawn. Sound familiar? Now imagine every time you defeat a handful of these enemies, you just stand around waiting with nothing to do. This was exactly what happened during one of the core story missions, and the padding feels completely unnecessary. When the next quest started, I stood there while Amanda Waller called my character on comms and bantered with Poison Ivy before sending me back to the other end of the map to save citizens in a flying bus that looked like it's straight out of Fortnite. At okay, least the kind of bad. puzzles are making a return from the Arkham games, bringing at least one familiar fun activity to Suicide Squad's Metropolis. Within this city's fiscal stash, Lex Luthor sits upon your cash. At least I hope they're fun because I didn't actually get to solve any of them. The potential saving grace for all my gripes could be that the whole combat system comes together a lot better when you get to sit down and actually make a build, which we didn't have a chance to do right away at the preview event. For some context, we started playing through the same tutorial from the beta and picking a character, Deadshot in my case. After that, your we aim. in the chapter your aim. I tried out Shark because the character I had been playing on was taken. What I didn't realize was that Chapter 3 gives you complete build control, and having played on a different class, it took me a bit of our session to get warmed up to the new movement mechanics Shark has compared to Deadshot. If we look back at that provided Flash gameplay, it looks like the player has a good grasp at movement, but it all comes back to similar core mechanics. Aim gun, shoot gun, and those core mechanics in a game like Destiny really save it. Here, it just feels samey across the board, even with each character's abilities sprinkled in. I didn't really get time to look at my gear stats and throw something together to try out, but I did try a build recommendation from Jack Hackett, production manager at Rocksteady, but again, I didn't really have enough time to get used to how it's supposed to flow together. However, his excitement about the build possibilities does continue to give me a glimmer of hope. To give you a taste of what you'll be looking at in terms of complexity, there are weapon afflictions that attach an elemental right. effect to weapons like Deep Freeze that does cold damage for a period It's literally of just Penguin like... will let you craft new weapons, shield mods, yeah. traversal mods, or grenades. And there are some interesting guns here... It's like just like Gotham ...that will not Knights. do damage to a Terminaut, but will slow down every enemy within 10 meters. And there Which was I enjoy. And there was a slot machine grenade that was also pretty fun. Each character also has a skill tree they can upgrade, and all of that is on top of weapons and mods that work together to give you passive buffs when you pair, say, two gizmo gear pieces together to do more burning damage, but with the trade-off that grenades do 50% less damage but have a 100% chance to burn all enemies. I know I've been really hard on Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League in this preview, and believe me- It just I sounds like he's comparing it not to Gotham. One of my favorite or not Gotham, Gotham he's comparing it to Batman. I've spent far too much time in across oh. Destiny and yes, <laughs> even Marvel's Avengers. But while there is a story here that makes me wonder where the heck it's all going, I left the preview even less optimistic than when I came in. Here's hoping Suicide Squad wins me back when it releases on February 2nd. Are you excited about Suicide Squad? I'm excited for it. Know why in the comments I think below. it's going to be good. For more on all things gaming, keep it right here at IGN. IGN. I think it's, I still don't. Just check in. We're all seeing that thing, right? I still don't think it looks that bad. I think it looks all right, man. I don't know. I think that people compare superhero games so much to Batman that it's just... Let them know why in the comments. Why what? Let who know why. What? Why they think... Why you think they're full of... <laughs> it's not that I think IGN's full of crap, all right? It's just the fact that... It, that's what it is, is everybody compares, especially big businesses, compare superhero games 
to the most iconic superhero trilogy that you can even fathom, which is Batman. So that's what I feel like. I feel like everybody just needs to stop comparing all the superhero games to Batman, and then they'll be okay. You think I'm full of crap? Me too.